Good evening and welcome to the Save Singles Summit. I am Gloria Gardson. Thank you for joining us. Today we are talking about the Saved Singles Summit event coming up on September the 19th. The Save Singles Summit is our premier social event that brings together Christian single men and women from churches all around the East Coast for a day of fun, fellowship, and empowerment. Our last summit uh, in 2019 brought together Christian men and women from New York all the way to West Virginia and Ohio. Our next summit is scheduled for next Saturday, September the 19th. And we are here, I am here with the team, members of the Safe Single Summit team to share with you what we have planned and to invite you to come join with us as we plan and as we experience the Saved Single Summit event. My team members here today are Tim, Latoya, Linda, and Becky. Welcome to the Grace Talk. Thank you. Now tell me, are you excited about this event and why are you excited? Linda, let's start with you. Oh my goodness. Am I excited? I'm, I'm over the moon. I'm over the top excited. I'm so excited. First of all, Gloria, that we're, we're doing something that we've never done before. We're navigating new territory, um, um, charting new, um, a new journey and, and to do it with such an amazing team. We have, God has ordained and hand selected every member of this team that you have prayed for, that we probably didn't even know that we were gonna be doing this this time, um, you know, especially a virtual one, but I, I'm just excited because every joint supplies and I'm excited to be working with such amazing people. So yes, I'm excited to see what the, the hand of God already moving. Absolutely, he is moving. Now, Latoya, you are our newest team member on this show today. So tell us, are you excited? Yes, I. so I'm excited because I've been to the other summits and it's just a, it's a great time of encouragement and interaction. And it's so funny because I was actually talking to my friend, Melissa, like about, it was like before the first one even started, we were like, we need like events for young people, like Christian events. And it was like, like the next day or like a couple of days later, it was like opportunity for a summit. I'm like, what? Like God must have been like preparing this, listening to our hearts. So I'm really excited um, to be able to connect and get other singles connected. It is truly amazing. And the connections that God has made, I've heard so many people say exactly what you said. You know, millennials like you, older people, younger people saying, you know, we were looking for asking God for this and boom, next week, next month, they heard about it. So this is definitely a God thing. And God has connected us all together. And for me, the thing that moves me and makes me passionate is that God loves every single one of us. And by the way, we serve a single savior. Jesus is still single today. <laughs> <laughs> he is single and we need to represent him and be all that he called us to be. Now, yeah. Becky, tell me, you've been to all the summits. What, what are you excited about the summit uh, next Saturday? Well, there are so many things that I'm excited about. I have been a part of the team since the first one that we did. And this is so exciting because at first before COVID and stuff, and even going into COVID, we thought we were going to be able to do a live event. I mean, we were planning that for a long time into COVID. And then at some point we realized we weren't really going to be able to do it. And so we thought hmm, we're not going to be able to do anything. And then Gloria, God laid it on your heart. Like, no, we need to do something. So it hasn't been all that long, if you think about it, that we started the wheels rolling to plan for this event. And then we just went full force. So the fact that we can pull something off that's going to just be another work of excellence that brings God glory is totally a, a God thing. So I love it because every solitary year God shows up. Yes. And so, you know, people, we got testimony after testimony of people just talking about how 
they're encouraged and how they're just edified. And um, I'm just excited because we have a lot of the things that we normally have, you know, we have you as our keynote speaker. So I know you have a great address for us. We have a spectacular panel and I won't talk about all the different things, but I'm just so excited because we still have a lot of the same things that we would normally have. It's just going to be virtual. So yeah, I'm super excited. I absolutely agree with you. Well, Tim, Tim was the very first member of this team. <laughs> um, now tell me, Tim, you danced so well the last summit. I still remember you dancing, you know. I know, Latoya, you go, girl. Tim was <laughs> dancing. He was surrounded by all these women. He was rocking it. So are you going to miss that? What are you looking forward to in this summit? Um, yeah, I'm definitely going to miss uh, not being able to dance and kind of, you know, um, experiencing all the music and everything like that. But, you know, I'm looking forward to this. Like everyone said, they've hit all the points, you know, um, just a great time to connect with everyone, a great time to reach out and really, you know, make some new connections and kind of, you know, we can know some old ones as well. So I think that, you know, we have a lot in store for you guys and uh, I'm definitely excited about it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. For those who are listening again to us, this is um, God's heart. He laid it on my heart. He wants us to celebrate this season of our lives. Because you know what? Today, you know, it's 5.30 p.m., 5.37. And until the day that we die, we would never again live 5.37 p.m. on September 13th, 2020. It's gone forever. And God was so concerned that many of his single sons and daughters are putting their lives on hold, waiting for something else to happen before they begin to live fully. God wants to live fully, like right now. God wants you to, to fill your life with his presence, his passion, and his power. So now, what do you think of our panel? Desi is crazy, yeah? She was on, this, on, the, on the Grace Talk Show last uh, Sunday, and I am telling you, she took off the roof. So I am looking forward to having her, to having our panelist, Daryl, and the Joel Orr and um, Ebony Water. My goodness, we have, God has assembled a powerful panel. And another thing that he did, which he always does, he has people at every point of the spectrum of singleness. So that anyone who joins, um, who listens in, there, there's going to be something for you. Because it's either you have somebody who has been you know, married, divorced, somebody who has never married. I mean, different kinds and flavors of singleness and different ages are going to be on the show. So now tell me, what are you expecting God to do with our panel? Some of you have heard, you know, Desi, many of you know Daryl, you've listened to him. What are you expecting God to do? I really like that because of the diversity of backgrounds that people will be able to see themselves in that panel and I'm just expecting God to just remind people that you're not in this alone and that, you know, if, if God brought them through it, he can continue to bring them through it and not just um, survive, but even thrive in that. So I'm expecting him to just remind people to thrive, not just get through and survive. Do not survive. You need to thrive. That's what Latoya is saying. Now, let's stop and remind people. Where do they go to register? Can we say it together? www.savedsinglesummit.com. Register now. By the way, this event for the first time is free and God is so good that we are able to offer this event for free. So take full advantage of it. We're gonna talk a little bit more about our agenda, but to God be all the glory. If you haven't registered, register now. The event is free. Mm -hmm. Now, our theme is so near and dear to my heart. Our theme is, is it well with your single soul, right? Is it well with your single soul? Linda, tell me, what does that do to you? What oh. does that say to you? Well, when you talk about the soul, that is, um, that, it, that the soul is like, 
it's the driver of our core consciousness. And it's, it's all, it's, 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 it's so, it's so complicated and yet so simple, but it is, it, it has to be well with your soul. And we need to be able to feed our souls. It's our, it's all of our, it's our experiences, our memories, our desires, our, our imaginations, all, all in all together. So when you talk about, is it well with your soul? It's got to be well with your soul. And we have to nurture our soul. We have to feed it. We have to guard it. We have to um, um, just allow it to just express, be expressive. So, and you have some panels um, that's going to be able to, to pinpoint some things and, and give us some great insight and revelation. So I'm excited on listening and waiting to hear the, and I'm in anticipation to hear what the panels are going to say to that exact same question. Yes. Amen. Is it well with your soul? Yeah. Becky, what do you think about our theme? I love our theme. I really yeah. do. And I think um, even this year, it's even so important, I think with COVID and you know, just everything that comes along with it as far as like singles and, you know, singles feeling more isolated. Um, you know, I know everyone does, but um, I just think this topic is, well, this topic is for all times. But to me, you know, as a single person, I it, it speaks to the fact of who I am in Christ because of Christ. You know, and I think that um, that's what it's about, because otherwise, if you don't know who you are in Christ, you'll allow other people to define that for you or thinking somebody else is going to make you feel whole. And that comes from Christ and that's Christ alone. alone. So we, we have to. Um, that's that's what Christ wants us to do. And, and Gloria, you even talk about this in your book. It's you know, it helps us to keep our focus on how God sees us. You, you say this a lot, like you're all that, you know, we are enough. You're all that <laughs> and a bag of chips. You, you always crack me up when you say that. But yeah, like our beauty is, our beauty is inside, you know, it's, it's who we are in Christ, not, you mm -hmm. know, the exterior part of us. So, you know. I well, feel, well, I, I'm, I I'm going to I'm going to interrupt you there. I do agree that the beauty is in, inside, but I'm looking at very beautiful women today. I am looking at your beautiful not only on the inside, but your beautiful lady on the outside. Let's let's thank God for what He's done. And by the way, Timmy, you are a fine and handsome young man. So yeah. this is great. I am just delighted. Sorry, Becky, I had to interrupt you there. <laughs> thank you. You know I'm blushing. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> but yeah. Okay, absolutely. Wholeness is uh, for those who are listening. Becky was referring to my book. Is the real subject of my book? Are you a whole single? God wants us to be whole. Whether you're single or married, he, you mm -hmm. need to be whole. Wholeness is so critical, and being that integral person and having the pieces fit the pieces of who you are, knowing who you are discovering who you are and liking what you discover and having that wholeness together. That's what God wants to do in us. And that's the work of the Holy Spirit in our lives. Now, Tim, what do you think about our theme? You are the only guy on this, uh, on this show today. My, my apologies. <laughs> but you're surrounded by beautiful women. What can I say? God is good, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, well, you know, in regards to our theme, you know, when you think about you know, what is your soul, you know, your mind, your will and your emotions. And you, know, you have to be able to come with to be able to come to God with those separately and holistically. And really be able, and we know as believers that at the end of the day we have an anchor for our soul and we can take those problems to God and really receive comfort and guidance um, for you know the next steps we need to take in life. So I'm looking forward to what our panel has to say about those and kind of the insights and revelation that people will will come to have. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Tim. Thank you for holding forth for the men. The other guys on the team will be the other guy on the team will be very thankful to you. Now, <laughs> Latoya, tell me what are the challenges of hosting a virtual event? We've never uh, been this way before, and you have been leading the charge. You and Melissa, good job. Talk, talk to us. Um, what what have we doing now? Because we're doing what you tell us to do, right? 
Yes, yes. So some of the challenges for hosting virtually, um, well, first of all, internet, having making sure that your internet works. And, you know, I'm thankful you say challenges. It's interesting um, because we really have a great team that's great at brainstorming. Uh, when I think of like what the, the spreadsheets Melissa has put together, um, she, just like, she, I think, I think she does that for a living, like management, because she just is really good at, um, brainstorming ideas, really getting everybody involved and just, um, looking at like how each member has worked together, um, Robbie and Becky with the music, like, um, Linda connecting like the flyer insight, TJ with the technology. It's just like Miss Gloria, just keeping us like in God's presence, making sure we're pray, praying, keeping us to a high standard. So um, I just think about everybody and then Debbie, like just like with her presence, like her energy, just like it, everybody just worked together in a way that really helped it to go smoothly. Um, but yeah, the biggest challenge is like brainstorming ideas, um, bringing things together, icebreakers like that. Becky, it was just like, everything is just like, I don't know if, if cha like challenge is the right word, but um really just like teamwork is what is what really was needed and uh thank goodness like people were like working really well as a team so yeah the, the biggest challenge would be just like yeah, just like like vir doing it virtually versus like maybe not being able to do it in person but i don't know lots of lots of teamwork so yeah absolutely we have a fabulous team i think you guys are the best team ever i am so thankful to god for the team that he put together and um this is going to be a little different yes you know becky mentioned that we decided okay well let's you know maybe it's postpone it for this year and the lord wouldn't let me do it i went back and laid down he's like you got to people need this and as we're talking now i've already seen how many registrations coming in you know god mm -hmm. says listen people need this of every year that you've done this this is the one year that people need soul healing. There's so much fragmentation in the soul space, given what's going on, particularly for singles. You know, many people now may have lost their jobs. They, even those who are working, you know, are working from home, the isolation, you know, that they're experiencing, plus the race riots going on all around the nation. So much fear, so much uncertainty, so much anxiety in the soul space. And singles are, you know, many of them are battling that by themselves. Mm -hmm. They have nobody to talk to, you know, mm -hmm. to address these issues. And God said, you are going to do this summit. And I'm like, okay, yes, sir. And I come back to my team and said, we are doing a summit. How do we do this? And you guys rallied. And now I am super thankful and super pumped about this event on Saturday because we are breaking new ground. We've never been this way before. And we've done it. This is going to be fabulous. I am so, so gr and grateful to God. Now, what is going to be different and what is going to be the same? Becky began to kind of explore that a little. So our agenda in the past has been, we have a full day and then we have a fun evening, right? So talk about it. What is the same and what is different? Becky, I'm going to ask you to lead that. Okay. So the same is going to be that we're going to have, actually, again, David O'Malley, he's going to lead us into worship again. Such a sweet presence of worship um, that he did last year and he's going to do it again this year we're going to have the um keynote you know i mentioned that before gloria every time she does this it's powerful and people talk about it during the event they talk about it after the event and how much it's impacted them and i can share a little bit about that a little later i know I, i've just said that twice the panel you know the quality of the panel it's the same as far as, you know, it's going to be powerful. You know, every year God shows up with our panel and just being, you know, a distinguished guest of panel. We're going to have uh, the Q&A. We're going to have yes. people submit their, um, you know, questions that they want to ask of the panel. We're going to have what's called a uh, she shed and a man cave. So the she shed is the opposite of man cave, of course. But we've always done that too. And so we're going to have the same way and we're doing it this event, by the way, we're going to be able to do it through Zoom and then people will also be able to do it on Facebook Live. So you have different, two different ways. We recommend Zoom because for the She Shed and the Man Cave part, 
we're going to split people out into quote breakout rooms virtually so the women will go on one end one room and the men in another room so that's going to be different as far as us doing it that way but it's great because that's a time for each of those two groups to get real and just to be able to you know encourage each other ask those kind of questions that maybe came up in the q a or maybe they didn't and just to talk talk through it and then the other thing that's the uh same but it's going to look different is the social ming mingling so that's all optional that again is going to be in breakout rooms which is one reason why we do recommend that you register and do it via zoom because that's the only way you're going to be able to participate in those two things but as far as what's different as gloria alluded to there's no fee and i will tell you i was thinking about this that i've attended different events and different conferences over like the last couple of years and a lot of them are still doing it and they're doing it virtually, but they're charging. You know, you're, you're still paying for it. It may not be the same fee, but you're still paying for it. So um, that, that's really exciting that, um, yeah, that you don't have to do that. So do you want somebody else to take over or do you want me to keep? No, you can, I can, I can ask Linda to chime in there. Linda, talk about the evening. I see you boogieing down at the meet. So talk about the evening. What's wow. different? Uh, I, I'm, I, Becky was doing such a great job. I, I don't think I can add to it, but you know, because we we're not going to dress um, dress up and go to the big banquet hall this year. We're going to go. Everything's virtual. We we will miss that a little bit. I think we all will miss that just a, a bit. We actually had something even a little little different planned originally for this 2020 summit, but we will still be breaking out. And I, I thought like. Um, the she shed. I don't think we call it she shed last year, but we do have. That's kind of a new little twist with that. But I mean, these this just breaking out um, with the singles, which is optional. The singles mingle optional. That I think a lot of people are going to just check it out. What I really love, what I absolutely really love, it's new, exciting. It's a challenge. It's something that you want to navigate through. You want to get there. You really want to be a part of this. You don't want to miss this. This is an opportunity to enrich your spirit, your soul, your, you know, wholeness. This is an opportunity to, like Tim said earlier, reconnect with some old people, old friends, but connect with some new faces. And it's new. It's new. So that's exciting. I, I love the process of learning and, and, and chartering new territory. And, and it's a privilege for us to be able to bring this to the singles, the this, this singles community this time. Now, Linda, talking about connecting, can we tell people again where they can register? Let's say it together. Register where? At www.savesinglesummit.com. Please go and take advantage. Like Becky said, we've never offered this summit for free, uh, but we are, by the grace of God, able to offer that for free because God wants to minister to the souls of singles today. Do not miss this opportunity because it's not going to come around again. It's not going to be free again. This is your one chance and mm -hmm. one shot to be able to participate for free. And let's drill down a little. Yes, there will be a forum on Zoom and one on Facebook. Um, Latoya, I'm going to talk, ask you, you're going to manage this orchestration. This is really like a major, you know, orchestration here, jumping between those two platforms. So talk to us about that and how people can engage on either one of those platforms. So wait, just repeat the question one more time. How can people engage? We're doing this both on Facebook and Zoom. You are kind of the maestro behind the scenes, you know, working on all this and coordinating all that and hosting these different things. So uh, what are your thoughts? How can uh, people engage on Zoom? Becky mentioned that it's better for those people to go into Zoom. Why is that? Mm -hmm. oh. Uh, the thing I really thought was cool is that they're going to do Facebook Live because, I, you know, either way you can have access to it. So you can log in, watch through Facebook Live. You can you can type in questions and those questions will be um, kind of put into a document and sent to Ms. Gloria so that she can present those questions. But if you want to get a little bit more connected and involved, I definitely recommend uh, logging into the Zoom. Like we said, it's free. 
Um, and of course, if you don't feel comfortable showing your face, you can always turn off your camera, but we would love to see your face. Uh, after all, if we were doing it in person, you would get to see each other's faces and you can uh, participate in the chat. So when we do the breakout rooms, you'll even have time to kind of get a little, get more personal and, and, and actually like interact with panelists and, um, uh, excuse me, when, they're in their, when you're in the breakout rooms, you'll actually be able to talk like more um, smaller setting so the men can interact with just the men and then the women can interact with just the women and ask their questions. So with that Zoom, you just really get a little bit more connected and then um, you can interact with the chat and everything like that. But Facebook, you can, people will comment in Facebook uh, as well. So either way you'll be able to connect, but we definitely represent it. Uh, I recommend the Zoom because you'll be able to get a little bit more connected. And I'm actually excited about the mingling because it'll just give you a chance to know people and like um, just see other faces. And the more people you get to meet and interact with, you know, it's always a blessing. Absolutely. This is going to be a fabulous event. We've all our events so far have been in person. They've been grand. And you can go on our website again and check out the comments. It's been life changing for so many people attending this event has been transformational and again there's so many testimonials on the website that you can check out for yourself but this again you can join um the different segments we're maintaining most of our segments we're still having like becky mentioned the the keynote speech uh, shorter like everything is much smaller because again the timeline is more compressed we're having um you know the panel discussion we're having the q and A. I I want to stop there and talk about the Q&A. Oh my goodness. The first time that we had this, he was off the hook. We had two pastors, I don't want to name names, <laughs> two pastors who were on the panel. They were so embarrassed. They wanted to die on that panel because of the questions that singles were asking. And these were honest questions. These were no holes barred questions. And that panel was if they could ask the questions anonymously. So they did. And I am so grateful to God. Many of it made me blush, but at least it was that they, they had the opportunity to ask it in a Christian context and get biblical answers. Because whether you like it or not, they have those questions. You can pretend that they are not there, but they are. And if you don't provide answers from the Bible, they will find answers elsewhere and the devil would make sure to give them the wrong answers. So it was, those, those panels were hot and heavy. This time again, we're looking forward to questions. Obviously it is a different platform, but we don't know what questions we're gonna get. But every single time those panels and the Q and A have been very healing and restorative for singles. Now, Tim, let's talk about the man cave. I've never been in the man cave. I've stayed away. <laughs> the men are very protective of their man cave, you know? So, but I've heard again from so many men that the man cave is so important and they enjoy that time away from this pestering women, you know, no women allowed, it's all guys. So talk to us about the man cave. Yeah, absolutely. Um, last time was some, definitely some, some powerful stuff, some raw emotions. Um, it's definitely a place where you, know, you can be really open and honest and really come forth with your full identity, your full past, and not feel in any way ashamed or embarrassed you know, about that. So um, uh, it was definitely a time, you know, some tears are shed, but a little man miss, as I like to say. Um, but uh, it, was, it was a great time of healing and restoration as well. Um, so I'm hopefully looking forward to that, well, that as well this time and hopefully look to make some new connections as well. So what are you, what would you say to a guy who is listening to you right now, who has not registered? What would you say to them? I would say go for it. I mean, there's no, there's literally no barriers to entry, man. It's completely free. Um, you get to meet people from all different backgrounds. You get to, um, you know, grow more in Christ, um, grow more as a man, um, gain wisdom from other men, gain a woman's perspective, all that and more. So um, for a single guy, I mean, it's the whole package. It is the whole package. I have heard of that man cave. I've never been in there. Last time I sent the photographer to take a picture and she was almost, she was like sent out <laughs> because she was a female. I mean, but I've heard of it. Timothy is right. I've heard that the men wept. That was, it was amazing. Yeah, men sure. wept in that room. They talked to one another. They wept, they were able to unpack. And do you know when the, when the man cave time was over, the guys didn't want to come back to the general session. They wanted to continue to talk. 
So if you're listening to us and you're a guy, you really need to get into this forum with men from all around the country who are able to come together and just open their hearts and learn from one another, connect, share experiences, the struggles of singlehood, some who have lost you know, their wives, different experiences. Mm -hmm. But it has been such a blessing. Eh? I have heard of the man cave. I would love to be a fly on that wall, but you know. <laughs> um, so guys, again, ju jump in there. Uh, it's an opportunity to be a real man in the middle of real Christian men and holding on to the word of God and being able again to encourage somebody else that the word of God is true for them. Mm -hmm. All right. So now, um, the optional singles mingles is a new thing, doing it online. So talk to me, Latoya, about the um, icebreakers because I'm looking forward. I mean, Becky put together a, a fantastic list of yeah. icebreakers and that's going to be managed by this team, right? So that people can meet one another in a virtual setting. So Latoya, talk to us about that a little bit. So we were trying to figure out, we were brainstorming it is like, how can we get people to interact? How can we get people to connect? And it's like, you know, you can't like, you know, at the other summits were like, we exchanged beaded necklaces, which was so fun when you had to talk to each other or we just were just encouraged. We had, you know, um, one time we did like kind of like a speed dating thing and we're like, well, how will we do it on Zoom? And um, we were just like, well, how about we just like come up with questions? And I was like, that's a great idea. And we were saying like, come up with questions and people can say like, can say like, oh yeah, I've done that or I've done this. And at first I was like, as my teacher side was like, keep everybody on mute, like just let them raise their hand or say, yes, I have in the chat. And then somebody else was like, well, let's make it more interactive. We can actually like have people raise their hand and say like, and respond or have a couple people respond. So we'll ask questions like, what is your, like, what is it? Like, let's say the question was, what is a typical day like? Or um, what type, what movies do you enjoy? Or just get to know you type questions. And then we'll have like people, a couple of people respond and then we'll move to the next question. So people kind of like raise their hand, they'll unmute themselves or we'll prompt them to unmute themselves. And then they can just share like, oh, my typical day is relaxing or I would love to go to the beach or whatever their day is. So it'll get to give us some insight. And also we're gonna open up the chat. So if anybody kind of wants to reach out to someone who catches their eye, they can chat them and be like, hey, you caught my attention. I'd like to get to know you better. Would you be okay with that? So again, this is all virtual. And again, this is optional. You don't have to um, be, be participate in the singles mingle, but if you want to do that, there is an opportunity for you to do that. And uh, these guys have planned such a fabulous, fabulous event. Um, Becky, do you want to chime in there? Because we have actually come to the end of the show. I've just looked at the time. I'm like, oh, where did the time go? We are having so much fun. This is going to be a fantastic event. And I know that Almighty God is going to do a real work in the hearts and souls of people through the ministry that's going to come forth on Saturday. So Becky, what do you have to say? You put together some really great questions. Yeah, she did. Seriously. Well, the, there's a lot of questions that are um, open-ended questions that will just get you just getting to know each other better. So some of them, I don't want to call them juicy because they're not juicy. Don't look at it as juicy, but <laughs> you know, they're not juicy. But definitely a way to, you know, just get to know each other. And, you know, one of the things I always say about this event is it's really just getting to know each other. It doesn't matter if it's another woman or another guy, you know, that's, um, you know, that's what I love about this event is it's really an opportunity to just come in and get Char recharge, you know, mm -hmm. come in with expectations. Like I know I have expectations. I am definitely expecting to get a download from God and to hear from God. And he does it every time. And I think that's really key is coming in with those expectations and, um, you know, God's going to show up. I mean, it's just that simple. God's going to show up. So it's just a beautiful time to, you know, get that recharging, get filled up, you know, get encouraged. And um, I, I just can't say enough about it. So I know you were specifically asking me about the icebreaker. I, I am excited about that part because we have a lot of good icebreaker questions. We really do. But um, 
I can't stress enough, like, you know, don't, don't miss out. If you've never been to one, this is an opportunity to come. You don't pay anything, you know, you just come and just enjoy the day and just see what God has for you. But if you've been before, you already know you're going to walk away, you know, with something great. So anyway, that's my, that's just my little spiel. But I do want to say one thing just to make sure that you understand, like, you can, as, as we we're all saying, you can do it either through Facebook or through Zoom. But the reason why we do recommend Zoom is because when we do get to the part where it's the she shed and the man cave, and then also the optional mingling, because of the integrity of that being, you know, we don't want that sort of thing where other people are hearing or other people seeing it. So we can't do that aspect of it on Facebook. And that's the reason why you would only be able to do that through Zoom. So, you know, that's why we really encourage you, you know, again, you can do it either way, but when you get to that part of it, if you want to participate, and I highly recommend it because um, that Q&A, it's just like a chance, get real. We want you to get real. This is not about being Christianese and being all, we want you to get real. You're going to hear real stuff from our panel. And, you know, our panel has some great testimonies and, you know, so, um, yep. I'm sorry. I am just, you can tell, like I am just so happy. <laughs> yes, you are excited, yes. but absolutely. It doesn't get more real than men breaking yes. down and crying. It doesn't get more real than that. So that's why we're not going to have that part of the agenda on Facebook. It's private. It's special. It's it, for me, it's, it's sacred ground to allow people to unburden their hearts between them and the Lord in a, in that setting that's confidential. So it's not going to be on Facebook. If you want to participate, it's going to be on Zoom and it's not going to be recorded. Um, so again, uh, we that's why we encourage you. Let, uh, Latoya, you wanted to chime in there, did you? Oh yes, thank you. So um, so I got when I got connected to the summit, I then got connected to like a, the meetup group. Mm -hmm. And that was really a blessing because yeah. that was even a smaller setting and it just got to like, just interact with people and just, it was fun. We went to Panera and I just remember walking away being really encouraged because I don't know if you remember Miss Gloria, but you were basically saying like, um, like, you know, in yourself, you're enough. Like you, when you, when you, when, if you feel like you're still single, it's, it's, it's like, like God is keeping you in a place where he's letting you be like, basically like prepared and protected until the right person comes along. And I remember like that really like was a blessing to me because I definitely was feeling like rejected at times. It was just like, it can be discouraging, but that really encouraged my heart. And I was like really thankful for that small, that small setting. So connecting to the meetup afterwards uh, really helped me. It was a blessing. That's again, that's actually a good point that I want to emphasize that it was after our last summit, people came to me and said, we love the summit, but after the summit, what else? We want to continue to stay connected. We love the encouragement. We want the download, but how can we do that? We can't have the summit every day. So what do we do? This where the, you know, the participants, I didn't know anything about meetup. I, I, I will admit I had no idea what it was, but they shared that with me. And we now have a meetup group. And we've had like comedies, we have meet and greets, you know, on a monthly basis, we come together. And, you know, that's what Latoya is talking about. It has been a tremendous blessing, particularly even during this quarantine, connecting with people this year, virtually and making sure that they are good. Singles, many of them live by, by themselves, but if we have a singles meetup group. It's a Save Singles Summit meetup group on meetup.com. Again, I'm learning all this. I didn't know about it, but those who attended the summit said, how can we stay connected after the summit, between summit, from one summit to the next, we want a platform where we can be connected. And that's how the meetup group came about. I, we are completely out of time now. I'm going to have to shut this up. Oh. Uh, any last words from Tim, Tim or Linda? Linda, any last words from you? Well, yeah, from me, I want to say register today. Do not put it on pause. Do not put it on for tomorrow. Do it today because we want to send you the information. You want to know, you know, all the little um, uh, information that like do's and don'ts and all the, it, Gloria has a lot to tell you on, on the summit. So you want to get in on the fun. You don't want to miss this. So please register today. Register today, Tim. Any last comments? You have the last word. Register. <laughs> Register today. 
I want to thank this panel. Again, you represented our team very well. Some of our team members are not here, but I want to let you know, God bless you. I thank God for what you've done. And I am looking forward to our audience being a part, seeing what God has done through this team in a virtual context, taking our premier event from a physical in-person event out into the World Wide Web and making it a virtual event. To God be all the glory and thank you, team. See you at the summit. Yay. Thank you for watching us. For those on Facebook, good night and may the Lord God bless you.